Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to evaluate a line integral along the path C given by x equals 2t, y equals 4t, as t runs from 0 to 1. This line integral is given in differential form. It's missing a dx, but no big deal. Uh, pretty simple problem. So let's do it. So the first thing we have to do uh, is maybe rewrite everything. So I'll write it one more time. So we have the integral over the curve C of x plus 3y squared, parentheses dy. So we already have x. x is equal to 2t. y is equal to 4t. We just need dy. So dy is just the derivative of y. So dy would be equal to 4 dt. Now we just carefully replace everything. So this is going to be equal to the definite integral from 0 to 1, right? That's where we get the 0 and the 1 from here. x is equal to 2t, so it's 2t plus 3, and then y is 4t, so it's parentheses 4t squared, parentheses, and then dy is 4 dt. Now we just have to carefully simplify. This is the definite integral from 0 to 1, parentheses 2t. When we square the 4 here, we're going to get a 16, right? We square it because of the 2. 3 times 16 is 48. And then we square the t and we get t squared. And then we still have this 4 here, so 4 dt. I'm going to go ahead and um, distribute the 4. So this is the definite integral from 0 to 1. So 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 8t. And then 4 times 48 is 196, I believe. Yeah, because, what, no, 40, yeah, 196, because 48 plus 48 is 96, so times 2, no, 192, 192, 192 t squared dt. Yeah, really easy to mess up on the, just the, the basic multiplication and stuff. Uh, always be careful. Uh, this is equal to, so now we can integrate, right? There's a 1 here and there's a 2 here. So we can use the power rule. So this will be 8 t squared over 2 plus 192 t cubed over 3. And we're going from 0 to 1, just using uh, the power rule for integration, right? The power rule for integration. This is equal to 8 over 2 is 4, so we have 4t squared. And 192 over 3 is equal to 64, so 64t cubed. And we're going from 0 to 1. We plug in the 1 first, so we just get 4 plus 64, because we're plugging in 1, so 1 to any power is 1. Subtract and plug in 0, and you get 0. So we end up with 4 plus 64, so the answer is 68. And that's it. I hope this video uh, has helped someone out there. That's it.